Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out who is missing you right now and why. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Okay Leo, spirits and angels, please show me. Who is currently missing Leo and why? Show me more. Leo, this is somebody whom you're not speaking with right now. Eight of Wands here in reverse. This person can be somebody like you or Leo. Sagittarius, Aries can be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, because I'm seeing pentacles here. Can also be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, can be any sign, okay? So Six of Pentacles, this is somebody whom either you could have given a lot, nurtured a lot, or that they could have nurtured you a lot as well in the past. Again, roles can be switched here, but most likely, Ten of Swords, you are not with this person right now. Both of you are separated, okay? I feel like they, of course, they do miss how you used to give them or supported them or invested in them in whatever way, shape or form. And Seven of Cups is in reverse, Eight of Wands is in reverse. I do sense them realizing something during the absence of communication between the two of you. Um, and also Strength is in reverse, Five of Pentacles. This is somebody who could have made you feel left out in the cold. And this is a missing card as well, Leo, so they do miss you. And this is somebody you either could have given up on in the past or that they could have given up on you in the past. But let's see more. Yeah, Nine of Swords in reverse, Leo. This person is missing you and I feel like they want to take actions, all right? Um, they're sick and tired of missing you. It looks like they're, they're about to make a decision here with the two of ones here. Hmm. And with the Ten of Wands, I feel like Leo, this person, really, really misses you a lot, okay? It seems like it's it's really tough for them with the Ten of Wands here. One person carrying the all these ones, Ten Wands is a lot of ones, right? Yeah, they feel kind of lost without you. Five Pentacles here. Let's see more. This person could be worlds away from you because of the world card here. Both of you could be at a distance from each other. This person could be a Virgo. Four Pentacles in reverse. This person either could have dropped the ball or that they think you could have dropped the ball either or. Again, roles can be reversed, but you could have let go of this person. But I feel like Leo, uh, they think a lot about you. They reflect over what had happened. They, you know, the soul search and the world, a little bit of an awaiting energy that I'm getting here as well, Leo. This person is waiting for you or waiting to make a decision in regards to you or waiting for you to make a decision in regards to them. This could be somebody also, again, if they're, if it's not a long distance, could be somebody whom you could have closed out the old chapter and started a new chapter. I do sense you're not with this person right now, okay? Currently, definitely separated. We've got the Queen of Pentacles here. This person may be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Hmm. They miss all the passion and the desire that you gave them. Maybe your connection was very passionate in the past. And Ten of Swords is right here. You got two, wait a minute, you got two Ten of Swords here. Yep, indicates an ending between the two of you. And also the separation between you and this person could have been very painful. Let's see more. There's your energy, the sun here. They miss how happy they were when they were with you, okay? And maybe for some of you, if both of you used to do outdoor activities, if both of you used to do outdoor activities, I feel like they miss that, that part of it, okay? The sun to me, if you look at it, it's outside. Uh, whatever activities, there's a horse here, but doesn't doesn't mean that both of you were riding horses, maybe some of you were, but something to do with outdoor, okay? Leo, they miss uh, when if both of you spend a lot of time outdoor, um, I think they miss that part the most, okay? So we've got the seven of wands here. This may be somebody whom you're trying to protect yourself from getting hurt again by this person. You may have your guards up around them. And with the queen of cups here in reverse, this person may be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like, hmm, 
Again, roles can be switched in all of this, uh, all of my readings, okay? This could be somebody whom you, maybe you could have retrieved your cup and you have stopped invested emotionally in this connection or in this person or that they could have done that in the past. Okay, let's see more. Well, the fortune is in reverse, Leo. This person hasn't moved on yet uh, from you, and the devil is in reverse. Maybe the connection between you and this person it was um, it was maybe toxic, negative in whatever way, shape, or form. And with the eight of cups here, you could have tried to move the, move on from this person. Okay, you could have let go of this person. Um, but whatever the case is, the Wheel of Fortune is still is is still in reverse, although the world is in the upright position. So I do sense, Leo, you're not with this person right now, okay? They miss when, whenever you guys travel. I don't know, I keep getting travel. Uh, if both of you used to travel together or do outdoor activities, they miss that part of the relationship. And also they miss how perhaps you could have provided them some sort of stability here with the Queen of Pentacles. However, I feel like, again, it can be reversed, whether it's you not letting letting them back in or it's them. But again, the Hermit is here. This person misses you a lot, I would say, with the Five of Pentacles here. Feeling lost without you. It's definitely a missing card. Feeling like they have, they're in a lot of pain with the Ten of Swords here. The two ten of swords in the upright position just feels like a double-edged sword. So could have been a very painful ending between two of you, okay? Could have been an ending because for some of you, maybe betrayal. If it's not betrayal, just a very, very painful ending. Hmm. Let's see a little bit more. This person is not emotionally stable right now. King of Cups in reverse. All that, they just miss you a lot, okay? So the chariot is right here. This person could be a Cancer energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like Leo, they're considering, they're missing you, and they could be thinking about expressing to you how they feel or taking uh, actions towards you with a chariot here. Hmm. And with the Hierophant here, something about them learning from their lessons, okay, or passive experiences with you. Huh. I do sense them feeling really indecisive right now with the Two of Wands, whether they should reach out to you or not. They miss when everything was good, like, because the Hierophant also can indicate some sort of a serious commitment. Some of you could have been married to this person or, or engaged to this person in the past, okay? To them, I still, I still sense them feeling very connected to you, but they're doing their best to move on from you, but it just feels like it's really, really tough for them to do that. All right, Leo, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a playlist on the screen right now. This is the playlist from my second vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And Leo, I post your videos almost every single day. However, at different timing, if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care, Leo. Bye.